Blinky is going first. And we are going to go for the win in the entire deck of wars. And we have a pretty good starting hand, actually a very good starting hand, so we're going to keep that. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4 curve, and we have Eternal Sword mixed in, and we know how good those cards are after we're seeing what we did last match. And he is Order. Um, the Eternal Swords were too good last match. We're going to keep them both. But that means what I want to sacrifice. You know what, we're going to sac one. Or do I sacrifice the Skirmisher? No, I can't sacrifice the Skirmisher. I don't like sacrificing the Eternal Sword, but I think we got to keep our nice curved creatures. He did not have a one drop, which is good. Maybe he'll have like an Aging Knight bust my face now. Wing Soldier, okay. And he puts it down there. Okay, we're going to move. We have to be very careful this match. I'm going to sacrifice the focus. We have to be very careful because he is, we're both Order, Order Mirror Match. I think he's Laking Order as well because we both used our aggro decks already. So I think he's Laking Order. This is going to be very close. Uh, we just have to hope, we just have to pray <laughs> that um, like we we have the the Blessing of Haste, the uh, Rose of Bean Potion at the right times, and he doesn't. We're going to sack Decimation. We're going to play the Wing Shield in front. And like I said, I'm going to move up because there's always the chance of like the... There's always the chance of the Roasted Bean Potion focus. The Roasted Bean Potion Eternal Sword. So he gets the Relentless Guy out before us. He's sacking for scrolls. That probably shows he doesn't have a floor drop. And he gets the Wing Shield. Okay, let's see if we can get like a flip. Or a pother. Or pother wouldn't really do much for us. We have to sack in a, a Imperial Resources. And I'm not going to risk... Um, yeah, I'm not going to risk uh, not being able to play much this turn. I'm just going to sac sack the Imperial Resources by trying to get a flip. I'm just going to sack the Imperial Resources and play the Skirmisher. Um, should we move down? Should we move down? Now we're going to play it safe. We are going to play it safe. Keep the skirmisher in the back. Because you're the most important. We're going to stay all the way up there in case he has like a uh, roasted bean potion and stuff. Okay. We have Eternal Sword. Now we have to make a choice. Do so we want to put the Eternal Sword, if we play it, on the Skirmisher to get that extra attack for his Relentless? Or do we want to put it on the Wing Shield in front? Because that's important. Because getting t extra 2 health on that uh, Wing Shield is actually like an extra. 6 health basically because of the armor 2 so like like it would take 2 extra 3 attack things to break through um I'm gonna sacrifice a night scholar I know night scholar is really good but uh I do get these guys and I get an eternal sword so now I'm gonna hold off on the eternal sword just yeah I'm gonna hold off on it right now and I'm going to play a do I wanna play a scholar on the bottom or a skirmisher. I'm gonna play Scholar on the bottom. Some extra health. We'll see. We'll see what he's able to do. He has two wing shields out. Let's see who can. Hopefully, he doesn't have like a flip to just take my um, skirmisher away from me. He's moving down, so he's just gonna go ahead and maybe just take my scholar in. A vanguard. That's quite a big deal. We have to make sure that guy does not do too much. Um, a general is good. We didn't get any speeds yet. We're actually going to sacrifice for cards, though. And we had another general. That's good. We are going to put the ducal skirmisher down. And I'm going to protect the thing that's about to attack. I think that's a good rule of thumb. So I'll protect the thing that's about to attack. And we're kind of staying away from each other here. He is the middle, I have the ends. But whoever gets like a big play with like a lot of Blessing of Haste at once first. But neither of us has that many cards, so it's hard to make a big play. He has a little more resources, and he gets the Eternal Sword. Okay. He has the Eternal Sword. Hmm. Let's see what we can do. I'm not sure how our mono growth deck would go up against this. It'd be pretty close. It just depends on how lucky my early draw for the mono growth deck would be, probably. That's what I would think. 
So like I said, if we lose this match, we don't lose the deck wars. If he loses this match, he loses the deck wars because we're one up on him. But we definitely want to win this match because we don't want it to go down to that 15. And there's the wings order. But I may not have in my deck, which may be a big problem. <laughs> uh, so I can't flip or pother that row. Let's draw a scroll. Focus, focus. Alright, focus, focus. You're teasing me too much. I have to sack for scrolls. And hope I like, can go with both focuses. Even if I do go with both I don't even know what it's going to do. I can go. Roasted Bean Potion, focus, focus. Let's see, let's see if I put it on this guy. He would have, what, 9 attack? 5 plus... 5 there, and then we would be 4 there, and it wouldn't be quite enough to win. Not win, to destroy that guy. That's what I need to destroy. And a Roasted Bean Potion, focus, focus, there would be... Let's see, I would actually focus the front dude... It would do actually quite a good amount. Let's go ahead and go like this. Let's move in. Let's move in on him. And we'll use a focus. A. And an eternal sword. I wish this skirmisher was behind, not the aging knight. Oh shoot, the eternal sword. Oh, that was. Well, there wasn't a hundred percent chance of that happening. There's only one three chance of that happening. Of uh, the eternal sword latching onto this, this dude in the back. Can he get the purification? And I'm kind of dead. Yeah, these are the deciding moments in this match. And I think he won these deciding moments. I did get a little unlucky there. There's only a one in three chance of. The uh, Sword Sword latching onto this guy behind, so I couldn't kill him. If it didn't latch on this guy, I would have killed him. But I mean, even if I did kill him, the Sword Sword would have latched onto one of these guys. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say I'm still in it though. All right, he definitely wants to kill that guy. So I do have a Rosa Bean Potion and a Focus. So I could like use it to go up there. Um, I'm just gonna. Play the wings captain that's gonna help me get up there if I need to. That's gonna be my turn. He did a lot of idle damage so far, but he did a little bit of idle damage up top. But let's get decimation. Decimation would just kill this guy. And we want to get the Imperial resources out. We don't run Rang Manganos in this Blakey Mortar deck. Flip Eternal Sword. Okay. We have our own flip. Roast Bean Potion Focus does not do that much. Or does it? Roast Bean Potion Focus would be six, and then I could flip you. I'm still going to lose this match, I think. Let's do it. Let's do that play. We'll sacrifice this Imperial Resources. Ooh. Eternal Sword. I can... Okay, let's go like... Oh, no. I can't flip you. Yeah, that was a mistake-ish, kind of. Let's see. Um... Let's draw a scroll. We like that busting face. Let's just go with the purification on you kill you and then we'll put a um, wing shield in front and he might be able to win really soon not a huge misplay um, I guess I guess it was a little of a misplay to sacrifice the uh, the what's it called the Imperial resources because I'm probably gonna need that in this matchup but I mean maybe it was good that I did that I sacrificed it because I'm probably gonna need these utility cards and I don't think I'm going to have time to play it. Because that's, if I play the Imperial Resource, I guess it helps later. But that takes, that's like a whole turn taken away. And he can just win. Look at these. Look at my idols right now. Uh, let's see. A, I can't flip. 
a roasted bean potion focus would not do enough damage so I'm going to sacrifice the flip now because or yeah we're gonna sacrifice the flip and we get stuff I right, it's time to move up I mean he has a clear shot at killing us but that's our only chance at winning. We have to move up. We have to move up. And we're going to just put our Agent Knight here because I'd rather kill Agent Knight than this Wing Shield. And then I'll put the Skirmisher down here. We could always roast a Beam Potion him to move up. Okay, so we're still in this if he doesn't have anything to punish us here. If he has no like utility cards here, like Blessing of Haste, Focuses, if he's nothing, then we're still in the game. Even if we're receiving them, we're still barely in the game. But any kind of utility card, Blessing of Haste, he could go with the Vanguards and then buff all his guys. He could go with a uh, Focus, like, just hopefully he only has, like, creatures to play. And hopefully those creatures are not, uh, Wings Warders or Wing Shields. Okay, so we have the blessing of haste, and I'm kind of dead. I do have I, my my uh, skirmishers do survive though. Looks like they will. It looks like they will. Hmm. And never mind. Only one of them's gonna survive. Oh no, he still survive. Okay. Uh, decimation. Where's a beam potion plus haste? I only have one focus. No other ways of buffing damage, but I can do decimation. That kind of is like a pseudo focus. And I do have an infantryman to buff damage. Uh, we don't want to flip anymore. Let's see. If I busting haste on both, or busting haste three, and then that would be six plus. Let's go ahead and let me do this. Let's go roasted bean potion. Decimation. That didn't, I didn't do that correctly. No, I didn't, I need one more resource. I did not do that correctly. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna be a big like deciding factor in this game though. Yeah, it's not gonna be a big deciding factor in this game. There's not really much of it. I couldn't have done anything that turn to like clear his guys. I just like killed the guy that was attacking. Yeah, there really isn't much I can do to win this game. It looks like this game is lost. He gets to push back because he probably didn't have anything to do with my dude. And he's gonna start winning. He is going to start winning. Oh, this guy motion being motioned. No, he's not. I do get the decimation. I like that decimation. Let's get rid of the. Uh... If we want to win, we're gonna have to make an amazing big play. So may as well sack for resources, just hope for luck, and then I'll just decimation here. So that does a little bit more damage to them. And let's see. Probably should have moved this guy right here, so there's only a 50% chance of a pother death. But, I'm, I already lost this game. So, if he has a blessing of haste, he wins. Oh, I guess he didn't. Okay. Well, looks like it's GG. Um, I guess I, well, I can't even pother. I'll just sack for scrolls up. Blessing of haste, but... I guess I can go like this. But the eternal switch is gonna latch on something else, and I'll just go like that. And it goes on there, so now you can kill my guy. GG. Well played by Blinky in this mirror match. And he just gets decimation for the win. So this is it. That was a loss. And um, it's all gonna come down to this game, this next game, game five of the third best of five series in Deck Wars. We both won one of the series. So um, 
we're gonna be able, he's gonna have to play this mono order deck and we're gonna have to play our mono growth deck because that's our last deck he does not know we're playing our mono growth deck but uh we're gonna try to win and um stay tuned for that it's probably an epic battle so i hope you all enjoyed watching keep on scrolling everybody uh like the video if you've enjoyed subscribe if you want more content like this and i'll see you next time